Welcome back. It's me, Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review. Today from ZD Toys, we are featuring Avengers Endgame Captain America. Okay, so this is not to be confused with a Hasbro Marvel Legends figure. Uh, this is actually produced by ZD Toys. Um, I believe these figures are made for the Asian markets and I think more so specifically China. Um, I found this on Amazon for around, I think like maybe like 25 bucks. So I had no problem pulling the trigger on it. Uh, I think a lot of people, as of this recording, it's September 28th, 2024, are just discovering ZD Toys because, um, like a month ago they released, um, action figures for Deadpool and Wolverine. And those figures I reviewed on my channel. Those are both phenomenal action figures. They're a, they're a larger scale than a Marvel Legends. You're looking at something that I think it's about... Um, uh, I think they're like a one, one tenth scale action figure. So they're around 7 to 8 inches. Where a Marvel Legends figure is generally about a 6 inch scale action figure. Uh, they're really cool. They're really detailed. And if you want, check those videos out in my catalog of YouTube videos. Uh, but today we're going to check out this Captain America... It's an older figure that was probably produced, I think, maybe two years ago. So the quality of this figure isn't on the same level as the Deadpool and Wolverine. But it's still a really interesting figure nonetheless. Um, over here with the box, um, there's a little hologram sticker. I think that kind of like, it's like it makes it an authentic Disney Marvel product, I guess. Um, on the back, a nice image from Avengers Endgame. We have Captain America. And uh, I'm excited to check this figure out. Um, I have some other figures from this line also. I have the uh, Bruce Banner Smart Hulk over here, which I also reviewed on my channel uh, maybe like a year ago. And also have the Thanos. And these are both really cool figures. They're not at the same level as the Hasbro Marvel Legends action figure, and they're a little bit smaller uh, than the, the Hasbro figures but they're still really cool and i dig these a lot if you can find these on the secondary market for a reasonable price uh pull the trigger i don't think you'll be disappointed and when i say reasonable um don't pay more than 30 bucks for these if you can find it for like 25 dollars uh, I, I think they're worth that but yeah don't go nuts on these they're cool but they're not like 30 dollars plus cool Alright, so, so far I'm really liking uh, what I see right now. It's a really well done figure. Um, Alright, so for an imported toy that's not distributed in the US, I think uh, this is actually really well done. Like I said, it's not at the same level as the more recently released Deadpool and Wolverine figure. But this is actually really, really nice. Um, the sculpting is well done. Uh, the likeness to um, actor Chris Evans, it's pretty decent. The sculpting I could really appreciate. It's really clean, really crisp. Uh, the details, uh, they really stand out. The texturing on the uniform is really well done. I don't really see any like smudging or muddy areas. Uh, the It's double pinned for the articulation on the elbows and the pins are clearly visible you know it's not like the modern marvel legend stuff where it's a pinless design um he, he appears not to have any sort of abdomen or torso articulation there's no diaphragm cut no ab crunch there is no waist swivel so it's very basic in its articulation um really impressed with the detailing on the legs the painting also is very clean. Um, I'm not sure if this is accurate to the film. Because I do know that uh, the Endgame Captain America uniform has the the scale mail on the chest and on the armor. But I'm not sure if it's painted silver in the movie. Or if it's kind of like a subtle thing. And due to lighting maybe it doesn't really appear that way on camera. 
But yeah, I, I dig that a lot. Nice metallic finish. Uh, double pinned uh, knees, and much like the elbows, they're kind of a much more antiquated design. They're not pinless like the more recent Marvel Legends. Uh, there is no boot cut, and there is no ankle articulation. Uh, let me get the, the colors balanced out a little bit better. And let's bring this guy into focus. For some reason, he doesn't want to focus properly. All right, there we go. Yeah, so it's a great looking figure. I'm really impressed with this. Um, the articulation, I think, is what hurts it. It's not up to date with um, some of the products we get out here. Uh, the head movement is just pretty much swivels. You'll get a teeny bit of tilt. The arms just kind of go up and down. There's no outward motion, no bicep cut. Uh, no wrist articulation either. These feel more like a very nice display piece. Uh, it kind of feels like it'd go alongside well with maybe like a diamond Marvel Select action figure because those are larger in scale. And I think this might scale better with that. And uh, I think they'd scale really well next to the McFarlane figures. The Wolverine and Deadpool do. And I think this one, uh, uh, this one's a little bit short. Let me see how tall this guy is. Uh, this guy comes in at seven and a quarter inches. Uh, here he is next to a Hasbro Marvel Legends Vulcan, just to give you an idea of the size. And here's his shield. It's kind of cheap looking. It's not as nice as the Hasbro ones, even though the star is uh, sculpted on top, so you can actually feel it. It's like a relief. And he does have the C-clip, which I'm not always fond of, but it looks like it might be a little bit sturdier than the Hasbro ones, although I would be scared of this end cracking. It feels like it's a... A harder plastic and I don't know how durable this is especially uh, the quality control in China is not always the greatest and the shield feels a little bit small too it seems like it should be larger on Captain America and uh, while we're at it, I actually do have some uh, ha uh, Hasbro Marvel Legends figures uh, I'm not sure which movie this is from um, I want to say <laughs> not Age of Ultron. Um, it's not Endgame because in Endgame uh, he wears this one. It's not Infinity War because he has this sleeveless costume without the star. Uh, but this is a very basic Mar uh, Hasbro Marvel Legends Captain America. I'm sure this you, you probably have like a half a dozen of this figure already. But this figure is interesting. This is a little bit newer. This was from the falcon and winter soldier avengers endgame 2 pack uh, so this came with a sam wilson captain america and the reason why i got this figure is because i always thought that his endgame armor was the same you know across the board but then when i looked at it closely he has the the the, the scale mail on the chest and on the arms so that's where the big differences lie between his much more common costume So this figure is more in line with this one since they both represent the same movie. And you can see the size difference here. You know, the ZD toy one just completely towers over the Marvel Legends. And the shield is smaller also. And I think this shield would look nicer on this guy. But yeah, the ZD toys is nice. If you've started collecting ZD toys because you picked up Deadpool and Wolverine... Um, this might be worth looking into, you know, if you can find this for a decent price, you know, don't pay more than like 30 bucks for it. Pull the trigger on it. Uh, there's other figures in the lineup as well. Like I said, ZD toys produce, um, you know, they have a Thanos figure. Uh, there's a smart Hulk. Um, uh, there's a war machine. There's an Iron Man. I believe they make a Thor. I think they actually make, a. Uh, a bunch of different Iron Mans. And I think they even make the Iron Man like uh, gantry where you can, you can like store his armor. So ZD toys, they're cool. Um, I think they're a little bit harder to come by in the secondary market, but you could find them if you hunt them on eBay or even Amazon. But it's cool. I kind of wish the Captain America was more in scale with McFarlane, but the, but the McFarlane line, their scales across the board, you know. Uh, it might look it might look decent next to a shorter McFarlane figure, but some of the older ones they're gonna tower over the Cap figure. 
And here is a Diamond Select um, uh, Alfred figure. It's the Sean uh, Pertwee uh, Gotham City figure. And uh, yeah, it looks like this might scale well next to the Diamond Select figures. So if you have any like the, any of the Disney Marvel Select figures, this might go well with that. All right, so let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.